feng shui going? Oh, I've got a loaf. <gasps> the realtor looks cute. <sighs> Remember, we all deserve good things in our lives. And we are worthy of this house. That's right. Namaste, bitches. And, uh, oh, God. Wow. Hi, Ignacio Vasquez, Housing Solutions Realty. Gary Chin, and my business manager, Ray Rousseau, and James, my personal assistant. What? Ray has been after me to pull some of my uh, millions that I made for my sitcom, Greener Pastures, mm -hmm. out of the stock market to invest in real estate. Precisely. <laughs> Portfolio, diversify. We found your your wonderful place on the website. Mm -hmm. Well, it truly is a stunning home. Allow me to take you on the tour. Oh, I, do you mind if I, um, I wander alone? I like to discover a house to really feel its flow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Only if you say that line from your show. <laughs> oh, well, yep. Well, I guess I'll just be collecting my pig and heading home. Hmm. And to think that could pay for this house. I'll be in the kitchen if you have any questions. Seriously? Your assistant? I'm not qualified enough to be your fake business manager? And this, what, Grateful Dead reject is? Where did you get a what? shirt like that? Dwight made it for me. I like it. Guys, they have a freaking screening room. It's like an IMAX. Can you imagine coming home to this place every night? I would never leave. Look at the photo of this family. Husband, wife, and kids. It's like the Adams family, not even a smile among them. Eh, maybe they're from Eastern Europe. <laughs> but they like show tunes. Hey, speaking of, are you auditioning for Stu's new musical, Gary? I didn't know they were writing a musical. He's just been posting about it nonstop for months. He's taken that sitcom of his, Sorority Guy, and he's turning it into a Broadway show. What? It's a great idea. A guy goes undercover as a girl in a sorority to solve his sister's murder. It, it ran for like a hundred episodes. It was huge. The guy never figures out who did it. I mean, what the fuck? It was the biggest piece of crap on television. And I guarantee you, Stu will make sure it's the biggest piece of crap on Broadway. Well, I heard the songs are good. Of course, they won't see me because my agent sucks. But Gary, you've been on Broadway. You could get in. No, I don't think so. You would be perfect for the role of the college dean. It's a really funny part. You'd get all the laughs. I don't want to audition. Why? Because he knows it's a piece of shit. Actually, I think I might step away from acting for a while. What? Big mistake. This is Broadway, originating a role. You, you just finished that Lacage dinner theater tour. You've got momentum. This could be an amazing break for you. Stop, all right? Are you deaf? I said I didn't want to do it. I mean, just leave it alone. What the hell was that? Well, that was you being a pain in the ass. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. It's spectacular. All right, this is us. We live here, uh -huh. and we're throwing a Hollywood party. Okay. Okay, so who do we invite? I mean, Beyonce, obviously. You get Beyonce to come to your party, you'll have Amy Schumer climbing that fence over there to crash it. <laughs> hey, B, what's up? Amazing dress. Mm. Like who else? Macklemore. You get Macklemore, he's very hot, he loves the gays. Ryan Gosling, because, pff, hello, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> So come on, James, who's on your list? Waiters don't get to put names on the list, Ray. I'm gonna be passing bacon wrapped date stuff with Manchego cheese because that's right, I'm catering again. Oh, shit. Yeah. My first party was on Sunday. Well, I mean, this is good, right? You can cover your bills. Oh. And James, there is no shame in catering. 
Really, Ray? That's easy for you to say. You've got a human fitness magazine cover taking care of your life right now. You know what? I don't have to explain myself to you. And besides, Dwight and I are in love. I thought you said you didn't have to explain yourself. What are you looking at? Macklemore? just smells like money. Bath beads. Oh my god, look at these. Uh, mother fuck. Fuck it. <sighs> Gary. James. Hello? James, what the fuck? We are here to imagine the lives we want, and I want this tub. But the key word is imagine. But the, the jets are so quiet, it's like a whisper of bubbles. <sighs> Get out. What if the agent comes up here and sees you? Or an actual buyer? All right, just give me one more minute. I need to wind down. I'm gonna go find Gary. Wait, come back! Feel my skin! Oh, sorry, uh, have you seen my friends? You mean your boss? Yeah, right. Um, he's gotta be on the set. He's doing a, a J-Lo movie, this big deal sequel to the backup plan. Why is your hair wet? Oh, um, my scalp sweats sometimes. Ew. So, tell me, what's the deal? How much do you stand to make when you sell this house? Well... Mm-hmm. What's your name again? James. It's, it's time to go. Uh, thank you for letting us see your house. Uh, I'll have my manager get back to you. James. All right. Thank you. Oh. Gary, where have you been? Wine cellar. Oh, shit! <laughs> what just happened? Give me that. Not that anybody cares, but I was about to get that agent's number. He was getting cuter the more I talked to him. Gary, this is a $1,200 bottle of wine. Seriously? That is grand theft in the state of California. Anything over $950 is. What? My sister married that ex-con. You know what? We have to put this back. No! They are unhappy goldfish killers. Oh. They're never gonna appreciate this wine as much as we will. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so good! Oh, now you two, you have to try. Oh, oh wait. I also stole some cheese. Oh, oh. It's a bit of. <laughs> hey, there you are. I was looking for my twister game when I remembered. I used it as a tent camping on the beach and a mini tsunami sucked it to sea. But 
I realized we can make a new one with this bed sheet and some paper plates. What are you doing? I'm just thinking about this house that we were in today. What if this is all pointless? You helping me so I can finish the script? What if it sucks? What if I have nothing relevant to say and just basically lack talent? Is this because of what I said earlier? Look, I'm, I'm a terrible reader. Doesn't mean you're wrong. You know, we go to these houses sometimes to visualize a bigger life. Gary calls it the life we deserve. The thing is, I can't actually visualize myself owning one of these houses. Or any house. No, you do. We do. It's gonna be done in 12 months. Dwight, that's your house. Our house. It's our house. You know what? You're gonna have a more amazing house on the beach when you saw that body swap script. <sighs> when I was in high school, everybody thought I was dumb. Other kids, with teachers, my parents even. I had trouble learning. Reading, words. <sighs> you know my brain. I hated it. I'd skip class and sneak into the janitor's closet. Or I'd sneak into the computer lab when no one was there. I even got caught by the computer teacher, Mr. McWilliams. I, uh, I've been killing time, and I was fussing with some code left on the chalkboard. <laughs> but I got it real quick. Came easy to me. And he saw that. He started giving me assignments on the side. I loved the challenge. He eventually got the principal to change my curriculum. On the first day, he saw something in me, and it changed the course of my life. It only really takes one person to believe in you, Ray. I believe in you. I believe in you. I guess I'll leave it to your thoughts. Ugh. Stay with me. from 